Welcome back guys. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can fix your msc140u.dll missing error in your Windows computer. You can apply this on uh, Windows 7, Windows 8, 8.1, Windows 10 or any Windows operating system wherever you are getting this error uh, like DLL missing file. So uh, you get this type of uh, error alert in your machine whenever you will restart your computer if your operating system does not have this particular msc140u.dll file. So let me show you how to get this error fixed. So first of all guys make sure uh, go to the folder option in the search bar type there folder option and uh, from the control panel open this folder option and uh, uh, click on the views and make sure select this one show hidden files folders and drive uh, once you will open this setting your or like your automatically setting will be selected don't show hidden files folders or drives so you need to make changes in there and you need to select this one show hidden files folder and drives and click on apply then click on ok uh, after doing this, uh, you need to proceed further with the uh, go ahead and type in here this PC, okay? And uh, you, if you're using Windows 10 or 8 or 7, I mean 8.1, you need to type there this PC and open this one. And if you if you're a Windows 7 or Windows Vista user, you can type there my computer. So open this one and uh, first of all check that uh, what bit of operating system you have got. You can see uh, my operating system is 64 bit. So in the same way you need to check you might have the 32 bit or the 64 bit. So you need to also check by yourself that uh, what bit of operating system you have got. So after checking that uh, proceed further okay and uh, see uh, the uh, the DLL file which is missing from your operating system uh, I'm just going to type the name here okay it's mfc 140 u.dll so let me copy this and uh, open any particular browser you can open uh, Microsoft Edge Google Chrome whatever the browser you have and uh, paste that file with the name of download okay so once you do that okay a file will come up uh, you can see once you will search on the internet there are different different websites will come up to download this uh, DLL file so select the option uh, this one it's www.dll-files.com make sure always try to download a DLL file from this website because this is one of the best website to download the DLL files. So open this one, uh, open the that particular website and uh, scroll down a little bit and you will find all the file name there, uh, all the list. So select the file according to your operating system version. If you have set 32 bit of the operating system, download the 32 bit or if you have the 64 bit of the operating system uh, just simply go ahead and click on 64 bit download option so once I, once you click on download option you can see your download will start in 1 second 0 second uh, now you can see it's a starting it's a started downloading here right so it's downloaded in the zip file so just go ahead and open when done okay and uh, you can see that DLL file is downloaded so copy this DLL file here from here okay let me copy and uh, paste it in your desktop okay and ma well, make sure guys this is my uh, blogging website www.pctipspro.com you can also read this article on my website so paste this one uh, on the desktop and again go to my computer this PC if you remember you need to open the this PC and uh, once you open this PC go to the C drive where your operating system is installed and once you open the C drive go to the Windows and uh, 
find the system32 folder you will find it at the bottom you can see system32 so what you need to do is you need to just paste you need to move this msc140u.dl file to this system32 so you can see it's coming up move to system32 so I just clicked on that and I'm, I was moving to the system32 so make sure if this file is already available in your operating system then you will not get this type of error alert but if it's not available in your uh, system32 folder then you can easily uh, move it to the system32 folder right now I already have uh, this file ms mfc 140.u.dll file in my operating system so that's why you can see it's uh, showing me the alert here that the destination already has a file named msc140.u.dll so I'm not getting this problem but I made this video for you guys who are having this kind of problem so once you will move this file to the system32 then restart your computer and your computer will work normally and it will not create any other n not same uh, alert so you will be able to get your problem resolved by doing this step so if you have any confusing uh, following these steps you can also uh, ask in the comment section and if you want you can go to my blogging website also which is www.pctipspro.com and you can read this article stepwise from there also I will mention the link in the description also so thank you so much guys to watching this video bye bye